Sometimes at this time of the night on a long program, you feel like Zsa Zsa Gabor's fifth husband. You know what to do, but you're not quite sure how to make it interesting. They give you four minutes. Frank Layden couldn't order breakfast in four minutes. But I am very honored to be in the Hall of Fame now, in the Hall. It's the home of really some of the greatest athletes that have ever competed in sports. Forget about basketball, in sports. I'm here tonight as a representative of all my teammates and coaches and workout partners because even though this is an individual honor, which encompasses a career of effort, it was highly affected by players who missed a lot of shots so I could get the rebounds, who made shots so we could win the game, and who worked hard to help me on defense when I needed it. Guys like John Havlicek, Paul Silas, Don Chaney, of course Willie Williams and Jan Geist down at FSU, they helped me on the defensive end. They wouldn't set any picks for me, and it was hard to get them to throw me the ball, but they helped me on defense. <laughs> God helps those who need it the most. And that's been the story of my life. Every time I've reached a crisis point or a threshold, someone was there to help. I've been blessed in life with the best friends a fellow could have. And I've tried to learn from all the coaches and the teammates, not only how to improve as a player, but also how to be a success as a person and to strive to be known for something. With me, it's falling down. I mean, almost all the highlight clips, he's falling down. I'll be remembered tonight for something falling down. I couldn't have done it any better now. Through it all, with the guidance of Jim Connor, Hugh Durham, Tom Heinsohn, Zach Sanders, Bill Fitch, Red, and all the Celtic family, but most of all, Don Nelson, who took me into his house when I came to Boston, befriended me, and taught me not only a lot about basketball, because we used to play one-on-one -on -one that summer, but he showed me how important it was to get involved in the community to try to give of your time and never forget the little guy. Because to me, the bigger the reputation, the smaller the ego, the greater the person. I want to thank the selection committee and the trustees of the Hall of Fame um, for this. Uh, this, is, this is wonderful. They do a super job. Joe O'Brien and his staff do a wonderful job. And all the people in basketball are very proud. I want to say with special thanks to Ed Stites, Bob Cousy, Kurt Russell, Kurt, I'm sorry, Kurt Gowdy, and Lee Williams. I'm a trustee of a sports museum, and I know how difficult it is to grow something like this. It takes a lot of work, and you need a lot of people to work with you together to make it happen. I wish Bob were there and Calvin Murphy were here. They both graduated in 1970 also. I think that was one of the best classes ever to come out of college. Bob used to beat up on me, and I used to take it out on Calvin and Tiny when I could catch up to them. <laughs> both these guys were great players who possess all the qualities of professionalism and Hall of Fame stature. My congratulations to Tiny, to Coach Knight. He said the other day that I was one of the few guys he turned the TV on to watch. I used to turn the TV on to watch him, too, to see what kind of crazy thing he was going to do. <laughs> Maybe that's what being in the Hall of Fame is. Somebody goes out of your way to turn the TV on to watch it. <laughs> to Larry Fleischer's family, Ricky and your family, Larry O'Brien, to Boris. Will you talk to Stoico while you're over here and get him moving a little bit more? <laughs> you may understand what you're trying to tell him, right? I can't get through to him. I selected Bob Pettit because he's 6'9", same as me, played 11 years in the league, same as I did. He only started playing basketball when he was a junior, junior in high school, just like me. He was a great player, a superstar. Before Elgin Baylor, before all the people you hear about today, 
He was the man. He was a great rebounder, but he could score. He's very tough, but fair, and a relentless player who paid the price, and he made other people pay the price. Plus, my hairline's starting to get a little bit bad, and I figured if I was around Bob, no one would notice that much. Listen, <laughs> I know it. But he was true to the game and to himself. He didn't take any shortcuts, and he's a very successful person. Hello everyone, I spend a lot of time trying to get you guys nice videos, so please subscribe to this page, and please subscribe to my second page. The link to my second page is in the description section. Thank you.